Hi parents, uh, Friday Night Life uh, is this Friday, January 29th. Uh, we are going to be restarting it uh, as a time really focused on praise and prayer um, and an emotional revival uh, with God. Um, so I encourage you to come if you want to receive text reminders, just fill out the link below and uh, I'll text um, everyone that has signed up for a reminder uh, on Thursday. Um, uh, we are gonna visit the LA Art Show this Saturday. Uh, if you or and or your kids want to come, I, I encourage you to bring your children with you to go with them um, to you know see the art around LA. Uh, you can sign up below. And then this Sunday is our family Sunday. Um, church will close at 2 p.m. We highly encourage you to spend time with your families. And one of the things that um, I know uh, that you can do that I know is sometimes a little awkward if you, it's the first time you've ever done it is to have a family worship service. And this doesn't have to be a very complicated thing. Um, you can sing a song or two. Um, and if none of you play instruments, it's okay. You can uh, get lyric videos on YouTube. Um, just sing along, share maybe about what you learned um, in your uh, services. You can ask what your students learned in their services. Um, and then just have a time where you close in prayer. Even if it's just five, 10 minutes, um, having a family worship this Sunday, uh, I hope can be a very blessed thing for you. And then I wanna let you know, uh, a big push that we're gonna be doing is on April 9th, there is uh, The Call, which is a revival ministry <clears throat> on fasting and prayer and really seeking the Holy Spirit. Um, and so we are encouraging our students to go. We're gonna be taking students that wanna go. Also, parents, if you would like to go, please sign up as well. Let us know um, because uh, we really do want to seek revival, um, not only in our church, but in our city and our country. Um, and we believe that this is uh, an opportunity to seek that revival. Um, I wanted to share with you um, a thought to, to, uh, for many of you as parents. Um, how many of you know that your children are sinners? Hopefully all of you have raised your hand because we understand that we are all sinners. We understand that we all struggle with sin, whether that's our own sin or sin outside. But here's the thing, okay? We know all our kids are sinners. When is the last time that your child talked to you about their sin or their struggles? Now, if it is, if it has been a while, right, there's either two, there's two options. One is they don't sin, which is probably not such a probable option. The other option is that they have neither opportunity nor comfort uh, nor security to share these things with us, their parents. Now, and this is something where we can't go to our kids and say, why don't you share with me? Why don't you talk with me, right? You should talk to me, you should tell me things. Why? Because we're just interrogating them. We're just, um, we're pushing them away. But the thing is, you know, we can go to our children and apologize to them because all of us as parents, we want that kind of relationship with our kids. We hope that they would be able to talk to us. And if they haven't, if they aren't, then that means that they don't feel safe with us as their parent. Well, not the only uh, explanation, but a common one, that they don't feel like they can share anything with us. Now that, um, that may be a combination of factors, but one of those factors is definitely us as parents, that we have created an environment for our kids where they don't expect us to show them grace, where they don't expect us to try to understand. Many of our kids, they just expect us to lecture them and to fixate on their behavior. And if that is the case, then we need to apologize to our children and say, what will it take to make, to, to make our relationship a safe place for you to share with me. So I encourage you, um, any of you parents that haven't had a really deep conversation with your kids in a while, don't go at them and say, you know, we need to talk more, you need to tell me more things. Don't pry at them. Instead, go to them and show them the openness on your end. Say, I'm sorry that we don't have this relationship where you can be open with me. What can we do to build that relationship? What can I do to fix the mistakes that I have made, whether intentionally or not? Um, and most times it's not, right? Um, but I hope that we as parents can show our children that their relationship with us um, can be a safe place, should be a safe place, uh, and will be a safe place because of the grace that Jesus has given, that no matter what, we are still forgiven, that no matter what, we are loved, 
um, and that uh, our children will be able to feel that from us as their parents, um, so much so that they are willing to open up to us about other things. So uh, I hope that you'll have a blessed time um, this week, uh, especially on our Family Sunday. Bye.